The first overdose I ever witnessed was in Civic Center Park. Uh, it was actually um, an older gentleman who was also um, inebriated. He had gotten drunk um, earlier in the day, and it was only early evening at best. He was already drunk on alcohol, and then he decided to do a shot of heroin or black um, here in Colorado. So the next thing I know, a participant here at the Harm Reduction Action Center goes running across the park just yelling out for uh, Narcan. It was the first time I had witnessed an overdose, so it was not too long after I had moved here to Denver. So I got out the um, intramuscular needle, and what I did at the time was hold back the uh, two milligrams from the uh, vial of naloxone, and then I inserted it into his upper arm. It was just a real clusterfuck of just like, what do you do? And then everybody's, when there's an overdose, there's always a whole bunch of people that are like, you know, barking out commands and yelling at you to do this or do that. I was the one who had the Narcan, uh, the naloxone. I was the one who was administering it into the individual that was overdosing. I was the one who was giving uh, sternum rubs. I was the one who was making sure rescue breaths. I mean, like I was doing everything, but I was surrounded by a whole bunch of people who felt that they were, you know, uh, that they were supposed to be barking orders at me and telling me what to do, but it was still very overwhelming. Um, an overdose all by itself is overwhelming for the individual that hasn't overdosed. They're out of it. They don't know what's going on. So it's, you know, easy peasy for them as long as they come back. Um, it's the individuals that are trying to make sure that the, that person who over, just overdosed doesn't actually die, that their heart, their heart is racing, they're, they're sweating bullets. They're just experiencing time in a very slow manner because it just ticks by so freaking slowly. So um, the role that I played was uh, I saved his life. He came to like literally just as the ambulance pulled up and just as they, I mean, like, they pulled up and he heard the sirens and he, he just shot straight up and was like, no, no, don't take me, don't take me. It's not only just about that one person uh, who almost overdosed, or who overdosed and almost died. It's about any and every uh, of all the individuals that, that, that is directly connected to that person who just overdosed, who then doesn't have to suffer through um, an, un an unnecessary um, early loss of somebody that they love. Uh, so I feel like for me, uh, <clears throat> Even when it's um, not appreciated by the person who, uh, who you directly saved, what I, I think take the most pride in is knowing that somebody's mother doesn't have to get a call from a complete stranger saying that um, a child that they love and helped bring into this world um, unfortunately you know, died because of a drug overdose and they kind of you know, be saved. Um, I think about things like that. I, um, I think about my mom. Um, not having to get a call from a complete stranger ever on that exact topic.